Hey everyone, we just got the results back on our investor sentiment survey. As you may recall, we do this twice a year and it's a great indicator of future activity and hot spots in the commercial real estate space. Sentiment ticked up this half, which is very important because the majority of the responses we got from this survey came in early August, right after the Fed dropped rates and right after the trade war was escalated. Some of the highlights include that overall sentiment ticked up just a bit in the second half of this year. And that's supportive of activity. We see a trend that aligns with sentiment that ties to transaction activity. So that's a positive note for transaction activity in the second half of this year and into 2020. And there's a significant change of perspective on the headwinds we should be watching. Interest rates have led as the top headwind for the last several years, but not anymore. Geopolitical and trade issues have moved to the top of the list, pushing interest rates down as a risk. In fact, 40% of the people surveyed believe that interest rates are gonna go down more this year, driven by Fed action. Also, 66% expect a recession on the horizon by the end of 2021. Now, what's driving investors? For apartments, we had the strongest quarterly absorption on record in the second quarter, and low unemployment rates and job creation is unlocking household formation, and that bodes well for that sector. For hotel investors, they're very vulnerable to economic shocks, and the inverted yield curve and recessionary warning signs are top of mind for hotel investors, which is moving them to a more cautious stance. Industrial properties continue to be favored by e-commerce it's still driving positive performance. Rent growth in the second quarter for industrial was 7.2% on a year-over-year -year basis. But the trade war does pose some risk, especially in manufacturing-related industrial properties. The office market is generating steady momentum. The strong job market, together with value-add opportunities, especially in the suburbs, continues to attract capital. Retail, on the other hand, still have the headlines working against this property type, but fundamentals are strong. The emergence of digitally native brands, things that started out on the internet and are moving into brick and mortar, are, is growing, and experiential retail, including activities as well as restaurants, are doing very well and they're a positive driver for retail. Now, self-storage is still working through a wave of construction, and that's certainly a headwind, but the sector is generating positive traction as user profiles evolve, particularly among millennials. So even though we had tons of construction, we're still seeing vacancy rates stay stable, and that's a positive. Senior housing got very favorable buy side pressure from investors. The number of people turning 75 plus will increase by 10 million over the next 10 years. The extended demand outlook remains strong, but this is a highly specialized investment. So investors need to be cautious when they look at buying into seniors housing, there is an education process attached. So in conclusion, the big picture with exceptionally low interest rates that are on par with the record lows set in 2016 is opening a window to buy, but the elevated recession risk is certainly causing some uncertainty and investors need to weigh these two dimensions when making their strategic decisions.